1765, Richard Arkwright invented a device called the water frame, capable of spinning a hundred threads at a time and easily run by a simple worker with no experience. This sparked the appropriately named Industrial Revolution, with which accompanied a total change in the clothing and manufacturing industry. Now, 200 years later, manufacturing has taken off, thousands of times more effective and cheaper than human labor, and millions of workers have been replaced by machines. Machines have always been a friend of ours, working for hours with no breaks and without complaining, never demanding for higher income or sick days, and faster than humans can ever be. However, they have never possessed a human level of intelligence, and have been incapable of making decisions or changing, until recently. With the rise of artificial intelligence, we are currently teetering on the brink of a new revolution. In the 1980s, the best computer you could get was a $5,000 box with a 15 megabyte hard disk. Now, in 2019, for less than $500, you can obtain a one terabyte hard drive and six gigabytes of memory inside of a sleek, thin, portable laptop. Such rapid growth has been called Moore's Law, which states that every two years, engineers can fit twice the number of transistors inside of a chip at half the price. And this explosive growth has led to the rise of neutral networks mirroring those of a human brain leading to a massive explosion of research and money in the field of artificial intelligence. Although the idea of teaching a machine is over 50 years old, major algorithms such as AlexNet are recent as of 2012. These complex algorithms are only possible due to the GPUs and exponential growth of technology close to that of a revolution. As bold of a claim as it may seem, we are currently in a period of rapid advancement that many liken to the Industrial Revolution itself, except this time, what we are dealing with is technology infinitely more intricate and complicated than the manufacture of steel and wooden machines. Ironically enough, the same issues are facing us right now as 200 years ago. Artificial intelligence describes any program where the machine is capable of learning and changing. As it continues to gain more and more data, AI is capable of becoming more and more accurate, just like humans. We already have AI integrated into society with our Siri or Cortana in our devices, and our Alexa or Google Home in our houses. Voice recognition is already a field that machines have perfected. In addition to voice recognition, they have taken over our games, such as chess, as well as image recognition. But how exactly do they work? A perfect example of machine learning is AlphaZero, a device capable of beating humans in several board games, such as chess, go, or shogi. Unlike a human, AlphaZero perfected these games in a mere day each, with little to no resources. First, the rules are programmed into the device. Next, it plays a game against itself. After the game, it examines which moves were better than others and uses each game it played to improve its next. After several games like this, AlphaZero is ready to take on the experts. The idea of learning from each data set is the founding principle of AI and why it is so dangerous. Perhaps more dangerous is a machine's ability to have a perfect memory and insane speed. But, how will AI affect the future of jobs? And how well prepared are we to face any potential changes? How will the displaced workers adapt to the changing environment and will they be able to survive? Not all jobs are created equal. And research done by PwC found that up to 56% of jobs in the transportation and storage industries would be replaced, while the service industry would only lose 37%. In addition, AI might create new opportunities where there wasn't before. And jobs would not just be destroyed, but also created. Despite the cloud of fear and uncertainty that surrounds the rise of artificial intelligence, the risks associated with it may not all be necessarily fact-based. We interviewed several experts in their field to gain a deeper understanding of artificial intelligence. We traveled to New Jersey, where we met with Sam Jang, the CEO of a tech startup called DeepHow that uses AI-powered platforms to bridge the skill gap in manufacturing and the service and repair industries. So my name is Sam Zing, and currently actually I'm doing I'm building an AI company called DeepHop. And I often tell people that I love, actually, I don't study artificial intelligence. I study true intelligence. And certainly, if you look at uh, recent progress on AI, a lot of theoretical development was inspired by uh, our discovery in psychology. Like, for instance, neural network, which is now is the very important foundation of the deep learning, and that was really inspired by the human you know, neural network, and, and including convolution neural network, that was really inspired by a lot of the visual cognition uh, that psychologists 
and have studied and discovered. So Andrew Ying, who is a former professor at Stanford University, so he, he used an analogy. He said AI is like electricity. So just like centuries ago, right, electricity really changed many industries. Right? It changed the factory, changed home, right? and changed pretty much everything, changed the human society. And AI, so he believes, will also have very significant impact on many different industries. There's a lot of automation you know, going on because electricity can power the machine, right? And that machine actually ended up replacing a lot of human labor. So when AI, you know, particularly now the booming of the uh, AI, so people are really worrying, so what kind of job would be replaced you know, first? And, and in fact, so many people think it's not really blue collar type of worker. And it can also impact a lot of you know, so-called white collar type of worker. Like people, you know, even potentially lawyers or accountants, and, and people in the past are doing these kind of information processing, right? Even potentially you know, doctors or radiologists. In general, you know, just like any uh, computing task, right? So it, you, know, you can work you know, 724, it doesn't stop. And, and you can do lots of those you know, tedious tasks that the manual labors uh, will take a long time. But now AI is also becoming good at doing a decision making type of task. And, and that actually is a concern to people. Actually, uh, it's going to also automate a lot of those information processing related type of work and we call cognitive type of work. And and we, we don't know the limit yet. So at this point, uh, again, people are still exploring to see what AI is really good at. And, but just from the recent you know, advancement, we can see AI can be good at many things. Day by day, we are growing more aware of artificial intelligence. But what is our generation doing in order to prepare for this quote-unquote revolution? We interviewed several of our classmates in order to find out their thoughts on AI and what they plan on doing in the future. How integrated do you think AI is in your society right now? Uh, I don't know. A lot of phones have built in AI, like a Google Assistant. You just be like, okay, Google. Uh, and then you do stuff with Siri as well. And then I think that's the main part of AI that people use in their everyday life. But I don't know that it's used for so what type of jobs do you think would be available? If AI took over? Yeah. Um, maybe doctors? I mean, um, there are machines that can still do the work of doctors, but I feel like, you know, it would be much like successful if there were humans actually doing that stuff. After conducting extensive research and interviews with Mr. Jang and our classmates, we can see that it is clear that artificial intelligence will have a profound impact on all aspects of life and every single existing industry. If you are ignorant and misinformed, you are making a huge mistake. No one is safe, and everyone will be affected. But for good or for worse, it is difficult to tell. And if the interviews with our peers are any indication, the generation of workers that will be most affected by the rise of artificial intelligence has no idea of the man-made storm that is about to hit. So if you have a good understanding, then you know, you know, certain, you know, prepare for the future. Because there, there could be lots of opportunity related to that. But certainly if people are just ignoring you know, what's happening, I think then they should be concerned.